Performing advanced system audits on Windows using command prompt can be done using various commands to gather detailed information about system components, network configurations, user accounts, and more. Here are commands for advanced system audits on Windows. Type CMD in the search bar and run command prompt as an administrator. To audit security and logs, type audit pool get category. This displays the current audit policies. The command retrieves detailed audit policy settings for all categories and subcategories, providing a complete overview of the system's security audit configurations. This helps assess the current security posture by showing which actions and events are being logged. To display the last 10 entries in a system event log, type WEVTUTILQE system seal 10 F text. The command quickly retrieves the most recent events from the system event log, making it easy to get an immediate snapshot of system activity. It also provides detailed information about each event, which can be essential for troubleshooting and analysis. To display the firewall configuration for all profiles, type net add firewall to all profiles. The command provides a detailed overview of the firewall settings for all profiles, which is crucial for understanding the current security posture. It also ensures that the firewall policies are correctly configured according to the organization's security requirements. To list all installed programs and their versions, type WMIC product get name version. By knowing the exact versions of installed software, you can identify outdated or vulnerable software that needs updates or patches. It also helps in identifying unauthorized or malicious software installed on the system. To audit the system information, type System Info. This displays detailed configuration information about a computer and its operating system including OS version, hardware, and installed updates. It also provides critical information needed to diagnose and troubleshoot system issues, such as performance problems, hardware failures, or software conflicts. Moreover, this command offers configuration details that can be useful for identifying misconfigurations or compatibility issues. To retrieve information about the system's hardware, type WMIC computer system get model name manufacturer system type this helps in assessing whether the current hardware meets the performance requirements of installed applications and services it also provides information needed to optimize hardware usage and improve overall system performance to retrieve the bios version and serial number type WMIC BIOS get name serial number version. The BIOS serial number is a unique identifier for the motherboard or system board, which is crucial for distinguishing between different systems and tracking hardware. This command provides details about the BIOS name and version, which can be useful for identifying the system's manufacturer and understanding its capabilities. To display information about the CPU, including the name, number of cores, and number of logical processes, type WMIC CPU get name, number of cores, number of logical processes. The command allows for the assessment of the CPU's capabilities by providing information on the number of cores and logical processes which impact system performance. It also assists in planning for performance and capacity needs based on the system's processing power. To audit the disk and storage, type WMIC logical disk get name file system free space size. 
This displays information about the logical disk, including file system type, free space, and total size, which helps diagnose and resolve disk space related issues, such as insufficient storage for applications or system operations. This command identifies disk with low free space that may be impacting system performance or causing errors. To display free space and total space on the specified drive, type FS UTIL volume disk free C. Replace seal with a specific drive. The command aids in troubleshooting issues related to disk space, such as applications or system processes failing due to insufficient storage. It also identifies volumes that may be nearing capacity, which can impact system performance and stability. To audit the network, type IP configuration or This displays all current TCP and IP network configuration values, including detailed information about each network adapter. The command ensures that network configurations align with security policies, such as checking for the use of expected DNS service or ensuring correct IP address assignments. It also helps identify that network settings such as IP addresses and DNS service are correctly configured. To display active TCP connections and include the person ID for each connection, type net starts ENO. The command provides critical information for forensic analysis in the event of a security incident, helping to trace and understand the nature of the attack. It also enables quick identification of problematic connections and processes, allowing for faster response and mitigation of issues. To display the address resolution protocol cache, which contains IP address to mark address markers, type ARPA. This helps detect ARP spoofing or poisoning attacks, where an attacker sends fake ARP messages to a network. By monitoring the ARP table for suspicious or unexpected entries, you can identify potential security threats. This ensures that the devices connected to the network are legitimate by verifying their MAC address. To display the current IP routing table, type root print. It helps diagnose routing issues by showing all active routes. If a device cannot reach a specific network, examining the routing table can reveal misconfigurations or missing routes. It also assists in resolving connectivity problems by identifying incorrect or redundant routes that could be causing traffic to be misrouted. To audit the user information, type net user. This lists all user accounts on the system. It helps identify any unauthorized or suspicious user accounts that may have been created without proper authorization, which is critical for maintaining system security. It also verifies that password policies are being enforced, ensuring compliance with security standards. To display the detailed information about a specific user account, type next user and replace username with a specified account name. It helps diagnose and resolve specific user account issues such as login problems, account lockouts, or password issues. It also identifies group memberships and access rights, helping to resolve issues related to user permissions and access control. To order the scheduled tags, type scheduled task query fo list v. This command assists in diagnosing and resolving issues related to scheduled tasks, such as tasks that fail to run or run at unexpected times or do not perform as intended. It also identifies scheduled tasks that might be impacting system performance, allowing for optimization or rescheduling.